live at the WWE Hall of Fame and with the one and only Miz. And last night we were just at the screening for the Marine Four. Well, how was it watching the movie with everybody inside? And you're just if you notice, I, I wasn't really watching with everyone because I didn't want to ruin. I didn't want people just to be looking at me or like be like, oh, da -da 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 -da. I wanted to to hear the real reactions. So it was fun. I was like kind of off to the side where no one could see me just to hear the reactions. And the reactions seemed pretty good. So I was pretty happy with it. What would you think? Love the action. And then when you did the back, well, not the neck breaker, when you just, and gone. The, yeah. Sometimes all you need to do is crack a neck. But, but some, spoiler alert, Summer Ray as a shield though? How about that? As a what? A shield. A shield? Well, I'm not, I, I'm not going to confirm or deny that that may or may not have happened, but you're just going to have to get the movie Marine 4 moving target and then you'll be able to witness it your first hand. What's it like for you watching him on the big screen? I know you see him here in his work, but seeing him on the big screen? I love I love it, and uh, he looks really hot in the movie, the Marine 4. Yeah, she's like, why can't you be more like Jake Carter? And I'm like, thanks, babe. <laughs> Appreciate it. I You're... love his character. I love it. Well, you were really bringing the pain. Marine 5, maybe? Or it's a total franchise it's, now. It's, it's my franchise. So uh, if they want me to do uh, Marine 5, I definitely will. But there, I don't think there's any plans for it as of yet. We're going to see how Marine 4 does. And hopefully it does really, really well. Um, it played amazing on the on the big screen. And uh, I'm really excited about it coming out April 10th on Digital HD and April 21st on DVD and Blu-ray. Yes, definitely go see it on Blu-ray. That's where you get all the action. Oh, we just watched uh, 50, 50 Shades, Shades of Gray. Gray. And, uh, on Valentine's Day. On Whoa. Valentine's Day. But I was kind of like creeped out and weirded out about it because I felt like it was just, like imagine if that would have been our first date. Like that's not. A little too much. Way too much. And then <laughs> I, at the end of it, I found myself laughing. I think you were laughing sure, too. Yeah. Like, I was like, is that what the 21st century is bringing to love now? Is that what we expect? Like, there's no love, you meet somebody, you get married. It's like, basically, here's a piece of paper, you sign, I have this, I have this, I have that. I mean, a prenup is enough, right? I'm just saying. Right, well, take this one. I washed it with my mom. Awkward. No, you did no, not. No, you did. OMG, oh, oh, what was your face like? It actually wasn't as bad. It was, it, because it, it was kind of far and extreme, but. Oh my god, I don't think I could watch it with any of my parents or even my brother or sister. I think I would be like mortified. I think we made that comment actually after the movie. Yeah, because we were going to bring his parents to go to see it. Thank god we didn't. Awkward. I'm serious. I'm scared. Well, thank you. Hopefully you guys can see more movies together and spend quality time. Of course. Of course. We're going to see a movie this weekend. Next weekend. WrestleMania this weekend. WrestleMania. As soon as you guys get the time in. I WrestleMania know. this Sunday. Bye Check guys. it out. I see you. Bye. The last movie I saw was... Um, uh, Alan Turing's movie on um, uh, Imitation Game. Oh, Ben the Cover Box. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And unbelievable that uh, the world was so caveman like in the 1950s. I know we when, have everything. Everything just is so blown out. You can get a hold of anybody. Right. You can find out any secret. Find out any secret. You, you know, you realize Alan Turing was one of the people that started the whole computer revolution. And here was a guy who was basically uh, committed suicide because of. The fact that he was gay and, and could not be openly gay and was punished by a government, you know, just happened to be the UK government, but he'd been punished by most governments in the world at that time. So you realize how far the world has come. We still have a long way to go, but how, long, how far we've come in just a short amount of time. Oh, oh Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah. What'd yeah. you guys think? I liked that, really liked it. Right, well, the Rocks, Fast Year 7 coming out. Are you looking forward to seeing that or plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah on, when it comes on DVD. First, hey, when you can lounge and watch everything at home, it makes it more the special, right? Yeah, yeah well, and you know, watching The Rock is always a uh, pleasure. You know, what I mean, like, he's just Mr. Action. You know, I, I love, I love what he does, and he's he's uh, done a great job. Now, how do you feel about The Rock going I mean, from here to acting? The Rock, he's made it. You know, he's WWE superstar, the most electrified man in sports entertainment. Now he's a movie star. Fast Seven, maybe I'll be in Fast Eight. Who knows? You never know. Hey, you never know. Yeah, <laughs> can we see you coming up in a movie soon? Uh, maybe. WWE I mean, they're doing the new Ghostbusters. I'd love a cameo. Hint, hint. You know, it's my favorite movie. Maybe we'll throw that out there for yeah, somebody. Yeah, please do. But I hear you got a documentary coming out. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I see um, the hard stuff, man. The stuff back whenever I was still using and doing the wrong things in my life, man. It's my journey to sobriety. And, uh, it's, it's hardcore, man. It's stiff. But the hope is that uh, other people will um, see it. And perhaps if they're needing that help, then it will inspire them to do the right thing, man, and start their way. Perfect, perfect. So the latest movie you maybe saw yourself? Excuse me? The latest movie you saw yourself? Right. The latest movie I saw right. was at uh, Sundance, man, so I've seen quite a bit. Anything stand out to you out there? I love them all, man. You're no stranger to movies yourself. Can we maybe see you coming up in one soon? 
Um, I got a couple might come out. Matter of fact, the number one would be the resurrection of Jake the Snake, which is a documentary. Oh, okay. Look, yeah. look forward to that. Yeah, it's uh, pretty strong. So, on your downtime, what, what was the latest, last movie you maybe saw? The last movie I saw? Last night, John Wick. Oh. What'd you guys think of that? Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yo, it's, uh, it's I was a, thinking it, Kevin Nash. <laughs> you, get, you get all the action in there, too. Well, yo, Nash, uh, he, had, he, had a, he had a little cameo in there. He's the only guy who didn't die. Hey, <laughs> staying alive is the good part, right? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Very good. My last movie I saw, Let It Go. Let It Go. Uh-oh, everybody's seen Frozen. Go. I got two daughters. I watched Frozen. Can we see in any films lately or uh, coming up? You, well, you can see me in the call. It's on DVD now. You know, it was a huge blockbuster a couple years, but I don't know if you know that. Definitely, with Halle Berry, yeah, we got like that. like the best thriller in probably 10 years. Um, but anyway, yeah, there'll be some more films coming up, so stay tuned. Maybe a call, too. Oh, there we go. Star I... 69. <laughs> what do you think of that? That's a good one. Star 67. Wait, no, that's no, just blocking that's your number. The number. That's creepy. <laughs> All right, that's weird. The last movie I saw, I went after Thanksgiving dinner, so it's been it's been a minute, I don't, in, in the theaters, rather, and I uh, went and saw Interstellar. Oh, what would you think of that, McConaughey? I like it, but it's very hard for me when I go to think of the name of the movie and I want to say the ending. I'm like, is that the one where the whole time he's, but I don't want to say it in case you haven't seen it. And they're like, no, oh, I haven't seen it yet. Don't say that. Well, I think it just hit Blu-ray, so I think we're safe, but just okay. in case, just in case. You, it's, it's, he's behind the bookcase the whole time. <laughs>